construction on a new state-of-the-art facility is underway in Manitowoc. Well, today local officials joined Ammo Incorporated for a groundbreaking ceremony for this new 160,000 square foot building. Local 5's Eric Richards has more on the economic impact of this project. We sat there and said we're going to start an ammunition company. And I think I was the only guy in the room that had a gun or knew what a gun was. <laughs> Ammo Incorporated held a groundbreaking ceremony at the construction site for the brand new state-of-the-art plant in Manitowoc. NASCAR legend Rusty Wallace, who is a board member at Ammo, in attendance. I definitely wanted to get involved in it. And um, the company is just skyrocketing right now, so much so behind us you see the construction of the new 160,000 square foot building, which we're real proud of. The Arizona-based company chose Manitowoc because of what the city has to offer. City Council truly stepped up to make this a reality. During the COVID-19 pandemic last year, there was an extreme backlog of ammunition orders. Ammo Incorporated hopes that this facility will help them catch up on those orders when it is completed next year. We're 200 million in back order right now in ammunition, and uh, so we can't make it fast enough out there for the consumers out there. The project is set to bring 300 jobs to the local economy, which is welcome after the shutdowns. A lot of our growth has been from the, the homegrown uh, companies, and, and that's our bread and butter. So it's great to see a company from outside the area see the value in Manitowoc. The company's goal is to finish the project early and under budget in 2022. In Manitowoc, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. Thanks, Eric. Ammo Inc., by the way, uh, is not the only groundbreaking in that city. Dram Corporation is going to hold a groundbreaking tomorrow on their new expansion. Now to the lakeshore and an annual back.